Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is uh, The Binding of Isaac, a uh, new uh, roguelike Zelda-ish game which came out yesterday. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, it's it's an action roguelike, it's more like Spelunky than like Dungeons of Dragons more, but it's more like Zelda like that, and you'll see in a second, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, you may recognize the art style too, it's, uh, it's by the same guys which have done uh, World of Goo and Super Meat Boy and Run with Bill and that. He does their style anyway. Let me shut up because the intro is starting in a second. The Binding of Isaac. Here we go. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked. But I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. And that's the intro. This is wonderful. Uh, Edwin McGillan really is a, a crazy, uh, nasty guy. Anyway, um, let's just get started with the game, shall we? So, um, this game, Binding of Isaac, it's it's a uh, yeah, it's difficult to explain. It's a, a roguelike game. It's also like Zelda. Let's just get started. Um, also, by the way, uh, for players who have this game, press space to, to skip the intro. First time, it's uh, it's really fun, but yeah, don't need to see it every time. Anyway, here we are in the game, and um, as you can see, I can use the mouse and also the buttons. This is all the, the introduction you're going to get in this game. Um, but uh, the mouse control is pretty weird. As you can see, if I click in corners, it doesn't work. You can only shoot in four directions. It's made up like a, it's almost like an old arcade game. So better off not using the mouse. You can use the keyboard or well a gamepad. Uh, normally you can't use a gamepad with the game, but with Joy to Key, I bind it, uh, the commands. Uh, and uh, now I'm playing this with a gamepad, with a whole play st PlayStation 1 controller. Anyway, so here we are in the game. This is Isaac, and uh, we are in the basement, and we need to escape. And, well, the basement is randomly generated, and uh, it's not all bad. <laughs> First room without any enemies, and yeah, there was some poo, and poo are like the, the pots in this game. Or shit, or... No, no, I'll call it poo. Fuck, fuck it. That's what Isaac probably would call it. Um, anyway, as we go on, here are some enemies, and as you can see, it's very Zelda 1 ish. 
you see the mini map and get all style of the HUD. You, you get bombs and keys and it's yeah. Want to have this game without Zelda one and but it's different and it's, it's harder and it's a roguelike and it's random and that makes it a lot of fun. Every time's different and even the power ups are different. I uh, like this one is um, Brother Bobby. Brother Bobby is um, shoot and help you shoot. Oh, that's pretty nice. So the goal to survive to all the levels and uh, do not die because yes, this is a permanent permanent death game. And um, that's uh, there's like f six levels in the uh, giant end boss and. Uh, let you guess who that is. Um, first, you need to get there and survive. And this isn't like, yeah, like I said, this is a permadeath, like, uh, like uh, Spelunky like or any other game, roguelike game. And um, you really need to be careful and not get hit. Um, that's the boss door. Every level has a boss, and after the boss, you go to the next level. First, try and. Let's try and explore the rest of this level. Level 1, yeah, pretty simple. These guys, they run away from you. Also, yeah, a lot of this game is trying to learn the enemies, uh, learn how they react, and. and, uh, yeah, use that. And there's some, a lot of enemies, and I'll try to give you some hints throughout this, oh, this gameplay. As you can see, these are basic enemies, the. The fly guys, they spit open, they have a lot of flies in them, and uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, oh, yeah, just try to run, run from you. Um, so, let's move on to the first boss. Already? This is a game, yeah, this, it's not all that long. It's the. the here's the first boss, Larry Jr., and. It's only six levels. And yeah, this was already the first level. You can see it won't take that long, but it's um, it's a good thing. The thing, what bothered me was with Dungeon of Dreadmoor is that it took so much time. And yeah, this game it's it's like meant to be played in like half hour sessions, and you won't you can die and there's permanent death, but yeah, you'll probably finish the game within an hour instead of like five hours for Dungeon. No. To stretch out more like 10 hours for Dungeons of Dreadmore for one game. And so it's not really all that bad when you die. And, um, well, it is, you can start again, but, uh, that's pretty much that. That must make this game fun and challenging. And, yeah, this first boss, he didn't do much. Uh, but it's, it's a staple Zelda boss. Um, the worm guys, and you got just got to shoot them. Um, and yeah, after you kill them, you usually get a heart container or not? Just some hearts. But this dinner, that's a heart container. And I have extra, extra life. Also, I have a blue heart up there. That's like armor. It's um, temporary hit points. Uh, once you're, it's gone, it's gone. This HP up is more like a. Uh, a permanent uh, solution which you can fill up again. And uh, yeah, every time you beat a level, you get a little random video of Isaac being tortured by someone. <laughs> That's, uh, poor Isaac, uh, the really rule, the rule has it out for him. These are all his brothers too, I think, uh, living in the, in the basement. And yeah, what was his mom doing before she got Isaac? <laughs> That's uh, a big question, but. Um, Let's go on. Also, what happened to the music? Fuck. I hope you can hear it. Um. Oh. oh, there's a key, which you get randomly. Let's see if we can go a little bit further and... Anyway, so far, yeah, pretty simple. Fly guys. Very fly guys, then, uh... Just shoot them. Oh, here's your card. Cards are um, yeah, power ups. They do good things. I think there might be some bad ones in there too. And I have no idea what the magician does. So let's try it. Um, let's try it with some enemies on screen. Oh, 
this is a kill room, basically. Let's try that card. Um, I can remember which button I bound it to. Yeah, that one. Oh! Oh! My shots are homing or something. That's... Oh, nice one. Oh, come on. And here you go. All the enemies start hitting you, and... Well... Wait till you get to level 3. Uh, the first two levels are pretty easy. Level 3 is pretty hard. And from then on, it gets harder. But, uh, that's a roguelike. It would be good if it wasn't easy. So, there was the skill room. You can sh just see the kill room by the, the sword icon on the map. And... Uh, I wonder if I keep this power up if I leave the room. No. So the magician is your one room bonus card. Well, there's also some other cards like uh, the hangman, which you makes you float for one level. It's uh, it's nice. <laughs> um. Anyway, here's a gold door. That's the the item door of the level. Always try going into the gold door. Usually it's locked, so try and keep a couple of keys on hand, and yeah, it's it's like Zelda one keys. It's not per dungeon you uh, per dungeon level you have keys. It's just you find some random keys, and there you find some random doors. There's a door with a lock, with a, and you don't have a key. You have tough luck. Um, here I get a halo of flies. I have no idea what this does. I had it before. I think maybe it. Damages enemies or something? No idea. Anyway, ooh, there's a special green enemy. Like, um, yeah, like Dungeon of Dreadmore 2 and uh, lots of roguelikes. There's like uh, normal enemies and there's the powered up enemies. This one, the powered up version of a headless guy, which no, isn't that exciting. But, uh, there's multiple versions of them, and there's even multiple versions of the bosses, and that's the beauty of this game, too. Randomly generated bosses. There's Everything's randomly generated. Uh, the, the items, the, the enemies, the... Oh, was that worth the key? I hope so. 1620. Um, also, there's a shop on this level. And I have a key. I'm going to look in the shop. There's... Yeah, you can see the, the C icon on the map here. That means there's a shop over there. You usually need a key to get in. And, uh, we need some money to spend there. And, uh, let's see if it has something nice. A compass. And a heart and a, some bombs. I... Well, I never had a compass. It probably shows you to the boss, which is pretty useless, but... Yup. It's a, it's a Zelda compass. Why, well, that uh, wasn't worth the money. There's some better items like the ladder, which you can, I th think, only buy in a shop. And it's like the ladder in Zelda 1, and it's uh, very, very needed, especially in the later levels. So, I probably screwed my other self over, but um, let's see how far we can get. Yeah. Here are those fly guys again. Uh, uh, oh, that's a troll bomb. You can see the troll face on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Edwin really likes uh, the popular culture too. Um, culture. Oh, I suppose troll bombs and troll stuff is nowadays. Anyway, it's uh, time for the second boss. Let's see who this is. Hey, it's Monstro. Monstro is one you see a lot, but he's not all that hard. He has a friend though, Monster 2, and he is a problem. Anyway, this monster here, he just jumps. And uh, he parfs some, some particles at you sometimes and try to steer clear of them. That's the whole fight. And he tried to squash me, but I was ready for it. Oh. And as a second boss, it's, it's harder than the first boss of snakes, but it's not that much harder. First boss was really a pushover, but as I said, if you start a new game, you don't really need to find monster on level 1 or level 2. It's there's it's random. I've had this other way around, with monster first and snakes second, and other bosses like Gemini. Anyway, what's heavy here? Desserts. More HP up. Nice. 
But, uh, getting lots of HP. On to level 3. Here things get hard. The caves. Oh, he gets a gift and a wig and, oh, people cry. The wig is uh, also one of the, the bonuses. Also, hey, now the compass is worth it. Now I can see where the, all the special rooms are. Okay. Um, well, let's go left to the item door first and hope that works. Also, yeah, this is where the game starts fucking with you. There's a the chest in the middle of the island, but I can't get there unless I can fly. So I need an item like the ladder or the hangman card or something to get in the middle. Also, I think these are the level 2 um, flying bus guys. They don't run as fast as we and take some more hits. There, yeah, there's multiple levels of the enemies. And oh, there's a pill too. Pills are completely random. They're random every time. A white pill might uh, heal you the one time, one game, and kill you the next. But like, if I use this pill and then uh, find another same white pill in the same game, I know what it just does. But every time it's random. Um, Let's see. And yeah, Mister uh, Pushbag over here, fly shooter, knows a bit about moving away from shots. That uh, wasn't enough. Okay, let's go for the item. What's this? A horn. My little unicorn. Space to use. Oh. I think I've seen this in a video, and if I think uh, correctly, that should be a very, very nice power-up, like a star from Mario. Also, up here there is uh, yeah, a fight room with uh, a little enemy rush, basically, like I did in the first, yeah, previous level. I usually skip him, uh, the reward for doing that usually isn't that great. Um, I know the boss is probably down, but I could check upwards here first too. Oh, these are grubs. These are nasty. There's multiple types of grubs. This is the type that, yeah, charges you. They're like the snakes in Zelda. The ropes, uh, even. And, uh, well, he does it and I get some more bombs. And oh, uh, what do these, do these guys do? They just jump around randomly. Like rabbits and make some noise. This machine is a bit of a bitch. It can eat your um, heart, your health, and spit out money for that. So if I wanted to, do, I could um, kill myself on this machine and have a lot of money. Um, there is a shop in this level, and letters are. Oh, I'm crazy for doing this, but I probably will find some hearts soon. Okay, six is probably enough. So, if you have some extra hearts, you can use that to, um, yeah, cash up. But, um, yeah, be wary, it's not that easy to refill on health, and I really should not have done that, like, actually, I think. Um, as you can see, you can kill rooms of rooms of enemies, sometimes you can find three hearts, and sometimes you can only find one, or none. Like this one. Maybe here. Oh, these guys. These are a pain. They jump out and when they're in, they won't hurt and you sometimes have to stop, otherwise they won't pop out again. And you need to kill them all to progress. And they shoot some bullets at you too. Um, and I really can't afford to get hurt. Come on, pop out. Come on, computer. Okay. Uh, last guy. What's oh, a miracle? I didn't get a hit there. Come on. Thankfully, I have the little brother with me. Uh, he uh, will feed his brother, which is floating around. Um, what a kill room. I hope something drops here. Let's first focus on the maggots, and then this guy is pretty easy. You've seen a lot of them by now. And, yeah. When he dies, more flies come out. 
Oh, no bonus, no items? No, oh, fuck you, game. Okay. So, now on to the left. Oh. I figured out it just... I don't even have a key, so if I... Yeah, I can't even get into the... The shop, if, even if I want to. Well, maybe these guys will help. True car, the hanged man. Oh, this is what's needed to get to that one little platform. I yeah, it's a, it's a pill and a chest. I'm I'm going to use this. So, oh fuck, wrong button. Hmm. Unicorn time. Yeah. Might have actually just nice that music. Um, other button. Hanged man lets you float, which gets me some pills. And, um, uh, yeah, it's for one room. Um, okay, well, on to the next level. Uh, oh, there's meat blobs. They are knowing they shoot, mm, yeah, bullets in the four directions. Also, these are the other types of maggots. These, uh, shoot just one bullet in, one, uh, in the direction they're facing. They're not that hard. Um, also, these yeah, meat guys can be very tough, but as long as you stay, um, like, um, yeah, <laughs> not straight, but uh, like this from them, they're okay. I was going to say schuin from them, but that wouldn't really help you much. Um, anyway, he's dead. Shop here to the right, but I don't have a key, any keys, so let's move on. Oh, these guys. They are bomb flies. If they explode, they explode. So, do not kill them when you're near, and maybe stop shooting if they're if you're near them. Um, well, not much else to do in this level. Let's go on, meet the third boss. It's Chubb. Chubb is pretty easy. Chubb is a giant worm, a giant uh, maggot, and... You just need to shoot him a lot, and sometimes he moves another maggot, and he tries to go for you. Oh, but, uh, I'm hurting enough with my uh, help of my brother. And, uh, just take care not to get hurt. There's also another one, which is often level 3, level 4, and dead boss is a lot more annoying. Maybe we'll see him in this run, maybe we won't. And, uh, well, we're going for 23 minutes now. Let's see how far I can come with this game. Maybe I can beat it. I don't know. I've been to the end boss, as I said, but, uh, the end boss is goddamn tough. This is nothing compared to the end boss. But, uh, let's see. Oh! Well, that was one hit. Oh, fuck. There. Die! There he goes. One heart. And an armor heart. And I think there's an HP up, yeah. Well, six hearts. With seven hearts you unlock one extra character, so... I've already done that, but not on this computer, so... Maybe we'll actually reach that in this computer. Oh, and... Yeah, what if that would happen if he dropped down the trapdoor? Um, oh, there's a dice on the map now, which is uh, a gambling zone, which is uh, something you should see. Um, well, left side is the item that looks much more interesting. Um, I haven't seen these barrels before. Oh, that's TNT. Uh-huh. Do not stand close, shoot it. Yeah. Okay, so those are bombs, basically. Uh, no way to get to the middle unless I could fly. Maybe there's a shiny five uh, doing going. This guy, he's a beggar. He, he can give him a coin and... He's happy. Can I give him more coins? I have no idea what it does. Let's save my money for the the arcade, which is down there. Um, first, goddamn grub room. This is a room where these kind of enemies turn really dangerous because there's not that much room to maneuver. And yeah, 
It can be even worse, and uh, that's all the normal grubs. The big one shouldn't be really a big, uh, much of a problem now. Oh, and a troll bomb. Fuck you, troll bomb. Oh, yeah, this coin, uh, this door, this door, needs one coin. Um, oh, at least get a little heart for my troubles. And, uh, yeah, this is the arcade. Uh, this is happy little guy, and if you give him a coin. Did you see what skull it was? <laughs> it goes way too fast. It, yeah, I, I can't track that. I don't think anyone can. Um, so, it's random choice. The middle one. All wrong. How about I use the, the slot machine instead? One coin and... Oh, it broke, but... Oh, oh! Holy fuck. I locked the new tractor. I didn't have that already. That was very lucky. And I have all the money in the world. Okay. Oh, we'll do finish that shop soon. Um, no. Do deserve another coin then. Hmm. I think it was level one. It was bombs. Yay. I think you can also drop a troll bomb if you don't watch out. Also, if you haven't noticed, this room is filled with uh, references to Super Meat Boy and... Uh, I think... World Goo or something, this one? Not sure. There's a... Uh, uh, Gish over here. And some more little screens in Edmund and Milton games in the arcade. Um, so, yeah, let's move on. Um, these sort of messages are when new power-ups appear in your random game. Uh, normally, there wouldn't be a mean and lucky foot in this game because, but because I did something, um, it uh, it now is in the game. And next time I start the game, I have a chance of a chance of finding a lucky foot. And also, you might recognize this enemy if you've played in this game before. This is Gish as an enemy. <laughs> And he's pretty simple, he shots in a diagonal panther. Pardon, diagonal. That was what I was searching for earlier. Stupid. Um, and they are nice enough to drop me a key. Thanks, Kish. Let's see. Oh, it's the panties. Uh, these are mom's underwear. Range up. Now I shoot a lot further. Um, yeah, if you, especially if you look at the... Uh, at the brother shots. Uh, Isaac shoots a lot further than his brother. Um, and also, you can see Isaac is wearing the panties now, because every main item you get, um, yeah, like the way Isaac looks changes, and yeah, that's one of the best touches of this game. There's uh, some really weird uh, looks you can give to Isaac like this. Um, hmm. Oh, that was worth it. Two arm hearts. Also, how the hell do you get to the shop? Probably from here. Grubs. Oh, and a bit of slowdown. That's, uh, yeah, I have still noticed some slowdowns, even in a 2D game like this. It's pretty bad coding, I think, but, uh, oh well. I'll have them all. Fuck. And, yeah, as you've noticed, spikes on the floor. You walk on them, you get hurt, so... Watch the fuck out. Uh, oh, thank god the coin dropped here. And, yeah, god. <laughs> Especially in this game. It's not the very most... Yeah, Christian... Uh, approved game, I'd say. <laughs> Let's yeah, it's Isaac. And it's Christian teams at least. Um oh here we go, all the the other characters too, all the uh unlockable characters like Magdalena and Kane and yeah. Some people from the Bible. Anyway I wonder where the music went now. I hope there's still some music in the, the file and just too low for my mic. Or my headset even. Oh, and I should just stop, stop, stop shooting even. Okay. 
this guy. Oh, fuck. Okay. No. Nee, zelfs. <laughs> no, even. Okay, you. Pop up. Safe. Okay, finally. A card. Maybe I should take the pill too, but I'm almost full health, but maybe to check what it does. Let's try. Um, this is what is right, I think. Oh! That pill gave me an extra heart, I think. Nice. Oh, this the world uh, card shows the entire map in one shot, so that would be nice for the next level. Also, I unlocked more stuff, and I have no idea how. But, uh, good for me. Um, let's try and kill these fuckers in the middle first. Oh yeah, enemies can also get hurt if they're on uh, spikes. So I'm pushing that guy on the spikes. Kill him! Okay, oh, I'm getting hurt. Okay, you. Stop. Pop up. And I have no keys to go to the left. Fuck. Also, yeah. Isaac is a bit more red now since that pill. Well, he'll be okay. Be okay. Or he won't. <laughs> he probably won't. But let's see. Um, well, since I don't have any keys, there's only one thing to do, and just go for the boss. And God damn it, I'm getting sick of these enemies. This is probably the most annoying enemy in the game. Oh well. Maybe the one that's the most annoying, not the toughest at least. Come on. There we go. Last one. Come on. Yes. And a bomb I can't get. Thank you, game. Um, well this is probably a side path, so let's check that. Yeah. Oh, these are the level 2 or the, the headless corpses. These uh, actually, yeah, we jump really high and aim for you so w once in a while. You wanna just throw it randomly. Oh, a coin. Well, I have enough money, game. We could use a key. Oh, these are level 2 of the bomb flies, I think. Probably also explode, and also I should take there. Oh, fuck. Um, that one, okay. Oh, fuck. How the hell am I going to do this? Oh, and there goes all my armor. Um, die! Oh, these don't explode like a bomb. These explode terribly. Also, god damn it, I'm also dead. Ah, fucking spikes. Okay. Oh, a key. Time to check that shop, or save the money for the next level. Let me level a shop. Hmm. I'll save it for the next one. It's probably the deeper you go, the better the shops become too, so... Okay, save it. I'll just go on. Oh, these are just level 1 flies, level 2 flies, uh, level 2 flies split into more level 1 flies. And just... Yeah, and the aim for you, so just circle, strafe, kill. Okay. Oh, these guys. These are annoying. They uh, take quite a lot of hits, and you need to kill them twice. If you uh, kill them first, they turn into, pu into a puddle, but if you give the puddle some time, they'll uh, reform. They're like the, the red skeletons from Castlevania. Um, well, on to the boss. Oh, I do have the power up again, I think, so let's try and uh, yon cat the boss. Gurdy, I haven't seen this boss before. Okay, no, it's a fucking big one, too. Let's first see what he does. These enemies, these things to the left are normal enemies. You need to kill them um, because they yeah, barf a lot of shots at you. Holy fuck. This is turning her into a bullet hell. Okay, power up time. Die! I think it's like a star. That hurt him a lot, I think. 
Oh. Um. Okay, I'm starting to understand the pattern. He uh, now he had new patterns because he's almost dead. Uh, new enemies. Those kill those apples or yeah, growing apple things at once. Uh oh, I'm almost dead. I have a gold card left, which won't help me at all. Okay, the enemy's dead. Oh fuck. Um, just to yeah, once he moves, I need to go to a different direction of him. So. Two more of those. Kill them immediately. Oh! With half a heart left. Oh, and a coat hanger. A coat hanger is a really nice item. Uh, first, let's pick up these hearts. And uh, look at Isaac now. And uh, let's pick up this coat hanger thingy. <laughs> oh! What did you do with the coat hanger, Isaac? Also, they set tears up, so... I think... Yeah, more shots. So it's a pretty good item, so it's... You can hold a button longer and... Yeah. Fires more. Okay. Level, uh... Five. Level six, and there's a skull icon, but it's uh, like a normal Zell level two. There's a level, a big level, and a... And a boss in, in it somewhere, which is like this one. It's not just a boss. Um, okay. Yep. That was a key. <sighs> Did I get the key? I should have it, and now I have where sorry, I already fucked me myself too. Um. Oh fuck. Best to make one of them explode. Oh, yeah. Hey, that blew up the door. Okay, that went okay. Uh, uh, another key. Oh, that's nice. One key to get to the shop. One to get to the uh, the item of the level. Okay, more bomb flies. These are no problem. Just uh, try to stay a diagonal pass from them and do not shoot in if you are close. And more keys. Thank you, game. Finally. Okay, now we can shop. This isn't a shop. This is greed. Oh. Fuck you, game. Um, this is one of the sub bosses. There's like uh, mini bosses. Oh, what the most? There's yeah. There's mini bosses for every type. Uh, yeah, I think. Made your sin even. What's this? A steam seal, fifty percent off. Ah, uh, fifty percent off in the shop or something. Damn it. I got the arm and heart, and this for my troubles. Still, hopefully, don't have enough power. Oh, I should use the card. Let's try that. The world card. Now I can see the entire map. And also, I can see that here's a secret uh, passage below here. Below here? No. There's a question mark below here. And question mark usually means just press a bomb and you can go in there. Yeah, there we go. And here's this little bonus room. Normally if you... Uh, there's, yeah, there's other items to find uh, hidden rooms like that. And... Uh, I just haven't found any this run. Oh, these... Oh, this... No, I'm going to die. Oh, fuck. No. These bastards. You can only hit them when from the back, and using a level like this, it's pretty tough to hit them from the back, and they got them. No! Oh, fuck. How the hell am, am you? Are you supposed to hit this from the back now? Yeah, there. Die. Okay. 
Still alive, still alive. <laughs> okay. Can we... Um... You want to go like that? No! No, 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 no! <sighs> Fuck. This is like the fucking hardest room in the game. This is the normal enemy rooms. Oh, sh oh. Sometimes when you hit them from the side, they, you get a hit in it. It's not really uh, effective. Okay, um, you go here. Uh, yeah. Don't turn around. Okay. There we go. No. Die! <sighs> one plus one, free bomb. Still almost dead. Um, maybe these fires will drop something. even make it to the boss. Uh, well, my things are going now. Um, down here there's an entire path, but there's nothing there. There's no special rooms, it seems, so... Screw that. Oh! Oh, fuck these guys. Oh! And, yeah, that guy in the middle? That's, uh... Yeah, like the Zelda lanterns, they shoot, and you can't kill them. And when the enemies are dead, they stop, but... Yeah, you can't kill them, so... Don't waste any time. Uh, ah! There we go, 40 minutes in. I was killed by this thing in some dark place. And that's the Binding of Isaac. Fucking hell, 40 minutes. It's a bit too long, but uh, you can see the game, and uh, oh, I finally think I really fucked up with the music. Anyway, uh, that's The Binding of Isaac. It's a roguelike Zelda game. It's fucking awesome. It's less than 5 euros. It's less than 5 dollars, and uh, there's no reason for you not to buy it. Especially if you've played other games uh, from the same guys, like uh, Super Meat Boy or World of Goo or Gish. They're all great games, and this one is too. So, yeah, get this now, and uh, go die in some level, like me. Um, so, uh, oh, let's not replay, let's let's take, take a quick look at the menu. Yeah, I see dead, but now when I start, I have more charges unlocked. Magdalene and Kane. Kane has more damage, but less hearts. McLean has f more hearts and less speed. He has a look foot ability or something. Let's see what he does. I haven't seen any in game yet. He has a, a look foot. And he looks just like normal Isaac with an eye patch. And if I press special item buttons, nothing happens. The luck foot probably just gives you his speed. Speed bonus, and that's just a way to get a speed bonus, I think. Oh well. Um, so that's what I unlocked, uh, and um, that's the game. And oh, yeah, there's the collection screen. There's this many random items you can get, and this is just a couple uh, which I found so far. And uh, yeah, as you can tell, there's lots of stuff to do in this game. Anyway. Really should end the video now. Um, I mean, the Isaac is uh, still hiding in the basement on his own, and uh, he really needs your help. So buy the game and get it and help Isaac, guys. And uh, that's it for now. Later, guys.